I'm Justin Sanchez, director of DARPA's Biological Technologies Office. Today, I'm really excited to share with you new results on how we are working to directly interface machines with the human brain. A DARPA-funded research team led by the University of Pittsburgh has demonstrated for the first time ever in humans the experience of the sensation of touch through a robotic prosthetic arm connected directly to the brain. The volunteer, whose name is Nathan, underwent a surgery to have two microelectrode arrays placed in his sensory cortex. This is the region of the brain responsible for identifying tactile sensations such as pressure. Those electrodes were then connected by wires to a robotic hand and arm fitted with tactile sensors in its fingers. Index. Ring. What you're seeing as the trials take place is that as the researcher okay. applies light pressure to the robotic fingers, Middle. those physical sensations are converted into electrical signals that are fed directly back into Nathan's brain. Through this brain-machine interface, electrical signals are delivered as precise stimulation that his brain interprets as though his own fingers are being touched. Index. Index. Ring. Despite being blindfolded, Nathan can identify with nearly 100% accuracy Pinky. which fingers on the robotic hand are being touched. 20 out of 20. What does this mean for the future of neurotechnology? DARPA has previously shown that a brain interface can be used to direct the movements of a robotic arm. Now, with this new development of adding sensation by directly sending signals from the robotic hand back into the brain, we have closed the loop between human and machine. At DARPA, we are always pushing the boundaries on what is possible. We view neurotechnology as one of the next great frontiers, enabling new ways for humans to interact with each other and with the world.